what was it like yeah. having our milk for the very first time? That's my talk. It's live now, just today. I think it goes in to maybe tomorrow morning. So we're putting this video up real quick. This video will be up just for a little bit. It's on keeping a family cow. It's an hour long. It's everything, about everything we know that we can pack into a one hour video. It's up now on Marjorie Wildcraft's Summit on home medicine. Marjorie Wildcraft, y'all. And of course, A2A2 raw milk is definitely a critical part to staying healthy and keeping yourself strong and feeling good. While we're talking about cows, a lot of people are starting to wonder, what are y'all's plans for cows? Beautiful, this is our plan. Beautiful one, working very, very diligent, looking for cows. Somebody has already asked in the comments of today's video. I hope you guys get over there. I'm monitoring the comments, watching the comments. They wondered, you know, they're they're looking into getting a family cow and thinking about breed. Well, we've we've we like the American milking dev and they're very hardy. We were we're totally willing to maybe get more because they don't give as much production and not even as much cream. I think the uh, the Jersey gives about five percent cream versus a American Milking Devon or a Dexter, which is gonna be about 4% cream. American Milking Devons can be hard to find, especially with some of our requirements being that they are A2A2. That just means that it's a beta casein protein that's in the cow naturally, where it makes the milk easier to digest. It's much like goat's milk. So you've heard of people not being able to digest cow's milk, but they can digest goat's milk. Well, that's what's happening with the A2, A2 thing with cows. American Milking Devons can be hard to find. Some of the other requirements are the stuff like they've been grass fed and stuff like that. So. We're starting to look into Dexters. One, because they're small and maybe the kids can be more involved in that management. Sure, we're gonna have to get more of them. You're gonna have to get, we have already settled with being able to get more cows because they're hardier, they give, but they also give less. So we've already come to a conclusion that we're okay with getting more. We'd rather have hardy and just deal with more animals. Dexters are also shorter and they're also more available. There's a lot more choices out there. So Rebecca's just going through it. What have you been able to find so far, Rebecca? There are there are quite a few. I just think that we have to figure out how far we want to go. That's <laughs> and, it too. Um, all that. I did. I just found a, a directory that if of finding a lot of people who would do Dexter's near us. So basically I, I've been looking them up and I'm going to try to email them and see what they have available and a lot of i'm finding a lot of people just use them for meat so we obviously want milk which you can buy a meat cow that was a meat cow and milk it yeah it's not that you can't um it's just that if they've never been milked then it's a management issue yeah. and, and they've probably certainly not tested for a2a2 right they haven't tested for a2a2 we don't know like what their mother's we're producing and that sort of thing. Yeah. So we'll go into it a little bit more blindly if we buy from a meat farm. And then generally meat farms don't sell calves. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. So, cause they use them for beef. So um, it's just kind of a matter of, I'm gonna try to go out from our circle yeah. and just see what I can get. What else are you looking for in a Dexter? There's other phrases that I don't even so know. So there's like, there's several genetic issues and one of them has to do with short legs. I don't want to deal with that because there can be issues with that from what I understand. Yeah. Are we gonna get a black one? I think we're trying to stay away from black. Yeah, I wanted to go with done or... That's what you call it, done. Done is, is like brown? the brown and then okay. red. So either done or red. Okay. And then um, there's just some genetic issues that we wanna stay away from. And then um, A2A2, of course. And I would like naturally pulled also, if possible. Tell the people what that means, pulled. So pulled means that they do not have horns. Um, Naturally. but it's, yeah, they haven't so been cut off. It, it's not that they've been dehorned. It's that they, um, in their genetics have been bred for that naturally pulled, um, stature. So basically they wouldn't produce offspring that would have horns. I'm not though against having a horned animal again. I would want to talk to the kids about it. Cause I think that's one of the reasons we're going with the Dexters is that they like the smaller stature of a Dexter, but if they had horns, would that negate the fact that they were smaller? So, because we want the kids to be more involved, and that's one of the reasons that we're getting the Dexters. So, 
um, if the kids are like, no, we don't want a horn, then I'm gonna try to get, it's like, um, where they for sure won't have mm -hmm. horns. How far would we go? I don't know. We don't, um, I don't think we need to go west of the Mississippi. Okay. Right? No, like that could. wasn't a strong like agreement. That. that was like a, oh no. No. Okay. It's a, it's a, a stay that's in the totally east where they're me. thriving in the humidity. Yeah, I feel like in Tennessee, I feel like we have plenty of options between Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Virginia, yeah. um, even Kentucky. I feel like we have plenty of options. That's an update on our cows. We cannot wait. We could pull the trigger on that whenever we find it. Hopefully soon. There's not a whole lot going on right now. But guys, if you want more on that, Basically, pretty much almost all you need to know for raising a family cow, jam-packed into one hour. In my presentation, it's free. It's free right now, today. That's why we are doing this special report. We're getting this up. I wish I would have put it up a little bit earlier, but here it is. Get in there, sign up. I'll, I'll leave the link down in the description. And not only do you get access to my talk, you get access to 36 other speakers or presentations on really how to take control of your health. Uh, through the farm, through herbalism, through things like that. It's helping you to become free from drug stores by learning how to make your own medicine. So raw milk, growing your own meat and food is definitely part of that as food is medicine, but there's also a bunch of other good presentations in there. So I encourage you to go check it out. I know Rebecca's gonna be checking out many of the talks. So, and I'll be checking the one on Family Cow interacting with you guys in comments. So see you there.